freshy. The beast is on the charge, it's just been washed. I've checked over the suspension, make sure it's at Fox's recommended settings. It's now on the charge, we're going to hit Tullymore later. Uberbike flat out pedals, new pins, slightly longer than before. The pins come with this little spanner, ratchet, not a ratchet, wrench. Pin missing there, pin missing there, and there was one missing there, that's the new pin fitted. Any wonder my right foot kept getting out of position. Hopefully this will fix it. Not too sure if you can see the difference in those pins, but there's a good one to one and a half mil extra pin height. Now a wee quick experiment out in the street to see does the 29er work. I bought this Bosch speed magnet so they could have the option of going on to my silt 29er wheels. Give me an option instead of the, the mullet if I want. So let's fit it and give it a try. So if I want to run it as a mullet, I'm going to have to remove this little mud guard. The 29er tire is catching on it. I can hold this in my place to show you. Catching on the mud guard. There is clearance for 29er on this bag, even though it's designed as a mullet. So today's plan, take this 27.5 Argotal back to the shop, get it exchanged for a 29er. Then I'll drop into Tullymore, ride a couple of sections of trails. Don't intend to ride any trails really, just sections. And fiddle around with my suspension. If it feels good, then maybe I will ride some trails. What's up YouTube? That's what the cool kids say. Beautiful, bright, dry, crispy morning. 7 degrees C. Just heading up to Bourne Mountain Goat here. What a morning for it. Freshy. Continental. Argatol. Downhill casing, soft compound. Yeah, boy. So started off on Rocky Mountain Centre Descent, much better than Saturday, Saturday about two thirds of the way down I got off and started walking, had just no confidence. Today I felt much better, rode the whole thing, seemed to float down a better too, whether that's the downhill tyre in the front or setting the suspension. 
Anyway, I then came up here to Alternative Bomb Hole Trail. It has dried out a little bit since Saturday. Rode it, it felt good too. Made a couple of mistakes, but it felt good. Apart from the very, very bottom section that I ride where it's really choppy, janky roots, rocks. So I've let off two clicks on the low speed compression. So you cannot reduce the arm pump a bit. I'm going to go for another run down it. And I might come back up and do a third run down it, that giving it a wee bit faster rebound on the low side. So wet and boggy. Who is this? Nice and dry here. That's not a good thing to do. into the jank No rest in that wee trail at all Just keeps coming at you Right, going out Increase the low speed rebound, as in speed it up one, two clicks. Keeping the minus two on the compression damping on the slow side. So the first run was the standard recommended settings, second run was minus two low speed compression and this one is minus two low speed compression as well as plus two rebound damping slow speed well minus two really faster let's give it a crack
Man, that's physical. Whew. Just that one mistake. All right, I'm going to drop into the top of the pagan here. The top section is quite rooty as usual. And then I think there's a couple of wee jumps on it, and then the last section's rooty as well. See how my suspension changes worked on that one trail, or will it also work with this? Same is better, but how you ride it is the proof of the pudding. The old stopwatch. Now, where's the entrance? That's it. Yeah. Let me ask how you lost it. I'm oh, in the wrong gear as well. Whoa. Is loose as well as Jack. was better but I made too many mistakes. That was janky. You know how people flow over that. my pedal. Always catching pedals. That was a good run. Fairly clean. <laughs> <laughs> 